The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Desmond Farrell had his sights set on a Division I program, but he had played just two years of prep football. The Miami native admits now that he relied heavily on athleticism and needed some grooming. A four-year starter at cornerback at Carson Newman, he ranks in the top 10 in the country as a senior in interceptions and pass breakups. His coaches instilled confidence in him from a young age. But what was that moment that he felt like he turned the corner? For me, it was just all about buying into the system. Um, when I first got here, I mean, being at a Division II school, I felt like, I mean, I, I could have... I could have done better for myself, but as I got here and I uh, adjusted, I just felt like I should just make the best out of my, my um, opportunities, and that's what I did. That's what was my mindset coming into my freshman year and my, going into my sophomore year, so I just bought into the system. A two-time first-team all-sack pick, Farrell ranks third in school history in interceptions and is turning in an All-American caliber season. Defensive coordinator Larry Slade has coached nearly a dozen future NFL stars. The duo arrived at Mossy Creek at the same time, and Slade commends Farrell's maturation. When you put the talent, you put the fundamental skills or the technique things together with a young man that has outstanding speed, outstanding ball skills, a very good change of direction guy. And, and then uh, the thing that pro scouts always ask, the first question is, can they learn? And, and he, he is really good at that. And in fact, if I said, hey, Des, we need you to play safety today, he could go do it. He could make the calls. Uh, he's an intelligent, uh, instinctive football player. The senior does not lack competitiveness or drive. A shutdown corner, Farrell is put out on an island against the opponent's top receiver. It is an opportunity he embraces. I mean, it's one of the hardest positions on the field. I like to challenge myself, knowing that like it's just so much basically receiver can work with. I mean, it's like it's like one of the like the best positions you can ever, ever play. If you want to challenge yourself, so I like to give myself that challenge. So knowing my knowing my abilities, I just like to go up against the probably the best athletes on the field too, being retreat the receivers. So I just like to give myself that challenge to go up against those guys and see what I can do. Slade admits that Farrell will leave a big hole in the defensive backfield next season, but he checks all of the boxes to get the attention of scouts at the next level. The thing that pro scouts will tell you, the first thing, that, like I said, they're going to ask it, they're going to the question, can he learn? Uh, what is his character like? Is he, does he have great speed or good speed for his position? Uh, is he a playmaker? And all of that, I mean, you're talking about Des Farrell. He's a guy that can run for really run well for his position. He's got good size for his position, and he's a playmaker. He's very instinctive, and uh, that that those those qualities usually lead you to getting drafted and and playing in the in the league. And and he and Des will tell you he's still he he's still learning how to work and to be consistent at working hard all the time. He's gotten much better at that. Though. At six feet tall and 185 pounds, Farrell looks the part of a next-level cornerback in uniform and in the film room. The senior is proud of the person and the player he has become under the tutelage of Carson Newman's coaching staff. He bought into his opportunity as an Eagle, and his progress has cemented his name as one of the best ever to don the orange and blue. For the Eagle Sports Network, I'm Michael Watrang.